video shows you how the ink usage calculator is set up with our MemJet based printers. This example is using a Mach 6 and you can see the list of jobs that have been printed. Now the ink usage is based on the actual amount of ink that is used or calculated to be used on a given file. You can see on the layout of the table here, you have the amount of ink that's actually being used and then when the job is printed and the title of the job. Now this is based on the actual name of the PDF or the file that's being used. It'll show you the page is printed, what the print quality was used, what the media type was set to, because all of these factors will change the cost calculation uh, because of the way that the ink is used and the amount of ink that is laid down onto the substrate. Media sizes here, you can switch between inches and millimeters. So you can see right in this example, uh, eight and a half by 11 sheet, which was the page size uh, for this particular file. Now again, this was a number 10 envelope, but it was printed to an eight and a half by 11 sheet. So the cost example in this case would not be very accurate, mostly because the way that the uh, print head cost is amortized is over the length of the piece. I'll switch that back to millimeters and you can see here. The first thing you see is the estimated page cost. Now this is for the actual number of records printed, what the estimated page cost would be. Again, this is all a calculation based on the ink used in the file, but this will also include things like the pre-printing process, the purging and wiping sequence that happens ahead of time, so uh, as well as the post-job sequence. So when you print one page, you're going to get a lot of extra cost built in there. So you can see the estimated cost for this number 10 envelope, for instance, shows a two and a half cent page cost. Well, I only printed one page at best quality. If we did the same job at normal quality, again, two and a half cents. But where you look at the important factor is the cost per thousand. This will actually take the cost of the job and give you a more accurate representation because the breakdowns of the mid-job sequencing or mid-job cleaning cycles that occur will affect your overall cost. So the more frequently you clean, the more additional cost gets added to the job. And most customers will have that set up between 200 and 500 pieces for a mid-job cleaning cycle. But that depends on your environment and everything else. So where that factors in is your actual number of records. So if I printed one or 10 pieces, the pre and post job cleaning is going to really affect your cost per piece. So it's not a, a, a great representation of it. But if we we're going to print 10,000 records, then your cost per piece would be much more in line with your thousand page cost. So that's what you see here where your cost per thousand pages would be $5 instead of $25. So that's why it's an important distinction to understand that if you just run one record through, it's not going to give you a really great estimation based on the page cost that's shown first. And that's why we added these new columns in the uh, current firmware that has the estimated page cost per thousand. Again, so you have your cost per page if I run a thousand pages and then the actual job cost to run a thousand pages. So cost per thousand is a typical uh, example used in the print industry. You can see the differences can vary dramatically when we look at something like the ink channels or color bar pages. Those are high coverage, a lot of ink being laid down. When you look at the ink channels page relative to the other documents that were printed. Again, these are only a couple of pages here and there. Uh, the amount of ink being laid down is a lot more substantial. So your cost per piece is more like 35 cents. Now you see that when you extrapolate that out to a thousand pages, because we're putting so much more ink down, the uh, difference is not as dramatic and the thousand page cost because the bulk of your cost here was from the actual ink being played, laid down on each individual page as opposed to the uh, relatively minor addition of the pre and post job maintenance cycles or any mid job cleaning cycles that occur. So again, nice and easy to see what job you ran um, by keeping track of this. You can upload the table so you can export the information if you want to keep it. Another great feature built in here is the ink estimation mode. And in order to run the machine and get the cost 
calculations without printing the job and wasting ink and paper, you can actually put the system into an ink estimation mode. Now, what does this do? It'll actually process the job as if you ran the printer. So uh, it's an important thing to remember. So if you run a thousand pages through here, you're going to tie up the printer for a thousand pages because the printer will actually go through the process of trying to print the whole job. Even though it's estimating it, it's running it through the actual printing processor. So that will actually take up time running. Now, the more important thing here is that you don't have to do those longer estimation jobs because we give you the estimated cost per thousand now based on the artwork that you're submitting. So you only have to maybe run one, two, three, couple records if you want, and that'll give you a more realistic cost per piece without having to tie the printer up very long. There are two different modes. You can put it on continuous or single pass. Single pass means the next job that I send through is going to run in estimation mode. That way it'll run the job and then it'll go back to regular printing mode. We have these different setups so you don't have the ability to leave the system in the mode accidentally. Essentially, you can leave it off as the normal default setting, set it up in a continuous where every job that you send to the printer will be estimated. So if you wanted to estimate five, six, seven, eight jobs in a row, you can just run those different files through and then get your cost per piece estimates based on that. And then come back in and switch the printer to regular mode where ink estimation is off. Uh, again, if you wanted to just run a single job, the next thing you're gonna run before you go back to printing, then you would hit single pass, and that would take the next job that you sent through, run it through an ink estimation mode, and then go back to normal ink estimation mode being off. Uh, your tank cost and your print head cost is right here. Um, important part for the cost settings, this is what you would pay for the ink tanks. So depending on what your cost is, if you want to add in shipping or anything else in here, you can put that into this equation. If you wanted to add a wiper roller or anything else in your print head cost, you could do that as well. Depends on how often you change your wiper rollers. The important part is you only put the cost of one ink tank. So with the calculations based on your average cost per tank. You don't put the sum total of all the ink tanks that go in. That covers the ink estimation mode in our Memjet printers, the Mach 5, the Mach 6, the Mach X, the Mach 8. All of these systems have the same ink estimator built into them. I hope that gives you a better idea of how our ink estimation mode works with our Memjet printers. Thanks for watching.